Hi, I'm Melissa Jimena Paredes. I'm Taylor Pischke. And I'm Marty McBean, and I'm a rower, and they're beach volleyball players, uh. and uh, <laughs> yeah. So the Pan Ams are coming up in Toronto. You're trying to compete at them. What do you expect from the Pan Ams this summer? It's gonna be incredible. It's just gonna consume the city and it's gonna be this whole celebration and everyone's invited and I hope everyone comes. I'm just so excited to see what happens and what it looks like. I just know it's gonna be this very exciting thing that the city's never seen before. It's gonna be huge for Canadian athletes and for Canadian sports and I, I just can't wait to try and qualify. Do you ever picture yourself playing? Like, do you have like little like, you know, you're sitting there and you're like dreaming of it? Yeah, like, and like you like picture the winning point and what you would do and how you hug Taylor and like all that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I picture that a little. Taylor, are you working that out? Like the big like celebratory <laughs> high five? Was the Pan Ams part of your dream or you're like, wow, this is a pretty good goal to add? Oh, for sure. Well, when I was little, the Pan Am Games were in Winnipeg, and I remember going to them, and just the whole city was so excited. So I'm excited, but I've always wanted to play in it. I, I, I won there. Did you? So, <laughs> so yeah. Did you yeah, the rowing was in Brandon, but it was it was okay, it was pretty amazing. amazing. So the Pan Ams are pretty awesome. What do you think it'll be like to be the, the home team, like all the red and white down at Pan Am Park? Oh, it'll be incredible. I think everyone's super excited about it, and it'll be so crazy be representing our country in Canada even more so yeah excited. we had the opportunity to play on home soil a couple of years ago in Halifax and we did pretty well there and it was just incredible to have the whole crowd cheering for you and have all of their support and have your friends and family there and just knowing that they're behind you no matter what it's like having a third person on the court with you it's like just their support and knowing that they're there is it's indescribable Melissa how did you guys get together as a partnership it's a it's a good story actually we met four years ago um, and my dad um, was the beach volleyball coach for Marquise and John Child at the 1996 Olympics and Garth, her dad, went to the Olympics for indoor volleyball. Ooh. So we kind of had that like familiar uh, family like chain there and so they knew each other and a couple years ago they decided that maybe Taylor and I would be a good partnership. And so we never met before. We met here. She flew all the way from Winnipeg to here for this one tournament to see if we get to go represent Canada at the U19 World Championships. And we won that tournament. And we decided, you know, from then on, we we're just gonna play together. You know, it worked out really well and we have been really successful ever since. So it worked out. I know a lot of people always make fun of us because we're so like bubbly on the court. Yeah, they do make fun of our cheers. But we're the yeah. youngest. Well, that works. So. They either like <laughs> see you really happy or they're annoyed by yeah. how happy yeah. you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they like make fun of the way I say her name when I'm like super happy. How do you say your name? I, apparently it's super high pitched, but it's like, yes, Taylor! <laughs> they make fun nice of me a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you just say your last name over and over oh, again. Yeah. Her last I don't name, even think I love this track so long. I don't, even know she, I don't even think she can pronounce it. I don't think I can. The second part is too hard. Do it. But it is. Very good! Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> so there we go. But it is. Learn it for the Pan Ams. <laughs>